Ladies and freaking nutsacks, it's been a long time since y'all have seen me. I don't know how long it's been, a month, two months, five months, I don't really know. All I know is it's been a while. Um, if you're asking me right now in the comments what have I been doing, what have I been up to, well, uh, go ahead and get this out of the way. I got the Rona. Yeah. I uh, went snowboarding in uh, Massanutten, Virginia three weekends ago, I think, and I somehow contacted COVID, and uh, I was off work for 10 days, and I haven't been doing anything with my life besides sitting in my uh, hotel, not a hotel, my apartment um, in Virginia doing absolutely nothing, just biting at the bit to get outside. Today is the very first day. It is 61 degrees. I just went to work today, and I was like, you know what? It is a great day to just be outside. So, today's video is kind of special, kind of, sort of. Um, a company called Hydrosilix sent me a care package of a bunch of um, detailing, a bunch of car detailing stuff. So, soaps, sprays, ceramic coat sprays, whole bunch of stuff. I haven't even opened the box. Actually, I lied. I opened the box to look inside, but I didn't take anything out of the saran wrap. Um, I haven't smelt anything yet, so I have my lunch from here don't worry about that i have my little box of like what i use and then stuff like that and then down there is the hydrocylix box right now i'm actually going to go to o'reilly's or advance or something like that because uh my transmission's starting to skip and uh i was like mm, that shouldn't be happening no it shouldn't i went actually and just checked my transmission fluid and there is no transmission fluid so that's exciting on a 2015 Chevrolet with only 123,000 miles. There's absolutely zero transmission fluid. So we are running to the store right now. I'm going to slap some tranny fluid in here and um, well, hopefully that fixes it because right now it is kind of a rough ride. But I will pick you up once I get the transmission fluid in there and we are headed to the car wash because I'm honestly excited. I have not washed this truck in I don't know how long. So. I'll give you a before and after of like what it looks like and then um, what it's going to look like at the end because I'm very excited about this stuff. Supposedly it's from pretty good stuff. I've been reading reviews on it and watching YouTube videos. That's a big old Cummins. But um, yeah. Well, now the sun is blinding the hell out of me. Um, change of plans. I put a quart of uh, transmission fluid in my transmission. It's doing something weird. So uh, I'm not going to wash my truck today. I'm going to take it to the dealership. Because, you know, I got a warranty and all that fun stuff when I bought the truck. So, um, I'm going to take it to the dealership, see what they say. Might take them for a test drive and let them see what the hell is going on. Because, uh, I'm going home next Friday. And I already got leave put in. So, I'm excited. So, I'm hoping that, uh, we can get this worked out. Because I don't know if my converter is going to make it. Because I'm pretty sure it's my converter. Like, I'll be going about 4,000 RPMs. And it'll just, actually, let me, let me rephrase. I will hit the gas, the tack will jump to 4,000, and then it won't go nowhere. The truck just won't go nowhere. And then uh, I'll let off the gas, and the tack will come back down, and then all of a sudden it'll, like, pick up and go. We're going to take it to the dealership, see what they say. Hit it hard till the sun goes down. All right, ladies and nutsacks, well, I'm um, currently leaving the dealership. Uh, I got this little early bird thing, so I'm going to come up here tonight with my roommate and drop my truck off have them look at it tomorrow do a diagnos diagnostic on it because i got a warranty and i ain't about to do any of that myself because i paid for the warranty so i'm gonna get my money's worth um hopefully my transmission's bad i know these transmissions on these newer trucks are kind of crap so um hopefully my transmission is bad and my stall converter is bad and then i just get a brand new converter and tranny at the same time um like i said i'm going to i'm going home next friday so hopefully the truck gets done or they can give me a loaner truck or something like that to head home with i don't know i don't know what's going on uh i'm not washing the truck obviously because it's about to go into the shop i'm on the way home i'll pick the camera back up when i drop the truck off but this has been a series of unfortunate events and uh maybe one day i'll get around to washing this truck probably not anytime soon but I'll, I'll pick you up when i drop the truck off okay okay bye oh those diesel leds are bright i tell you what we are on the way to the dealership obviously this video is turning out completely like sideways from what it was supposed to be um i was supposed to wash my truck today because it was the first like hot day of virginia and like the first two months or some crazy stuff like that so my roommate is right there we're going to spin around i'm gonna drop the truck off at the dealership i don't really think i have anything in here what are, what are you what are you doing 
You're following me there. So yeah, we're gonna drop the truck off at the dealership, probably go get some Wendy's, and then I will pick y'all up maybe tomorrow when I figure out what's going on. I have to take my roommate's car to work tomorrow, so that should be super exciting. Then I gotta leave work earlier to come home to give him his car back. So he can go to work because he works night shift, so I get off at three, he goes in at three. But uh, yeah, right now this is the whole bunch of talking video. We're on the way to the dealership right now. Okay, drop keys in there. It's way too dark, but there goes the keys. I'll see you later. Ah, it is, it's been a ride. Um, for those of you that don't know, um, it's now Thursday afternoon. I have to go to work tonight. I've been driving my roommate's car to go to work, and I finally got me a rental car today. I'm driving a Toyota Corolla, or Camry, or whatever this is. I don't even know what it is but it's a Toyota and it ain't my damn Chevy. So I'm a little bit upset about that. I am leaving tomorrow morning at like mm, six probably to go home. My truck is currently back there. Y'all can't see it, but it's back there. The transmission finally came in yesterday. They are putting it in. It will be done tomorrow afternoon, but I had to get me a rental car because I won't be here tomorrow afternoon. I am leaving tomorrow morning to go home. So this video turned out not exactly how I wanted it to. But um, yeah, I figured I'd give y'all an update. The truck is in the shop right now getting the transmission put in. It is covered under warranty. They're putting a new stall in it, new transmission, reflushing the cooler lines for the tranny. So um, it will have a three year unlimited mile transmission warranty on it. So if it breaks again, I can take it back in and get another transmission. I figured I'd give y'all a look at what the car looks like. This is, uh, this is what I'm driving right now. It's got a pretty cool like LCD touch screen, stuff like that. But uh, yeah, so. Figured I'd give y'all an update. I know it's been a couple days. I haven't seen or talked to the camera in a while because I've just been trying to deal with the warranty guys and they're trying to deal with the dealership, blah, blah, blah. Then they tried to, the warranty tried to tell the dealership that I put the lift and tires on myself, which is why the transmission went out. And I was like, no, 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 no. The, the leveling kit and the tires are already on there when I bought the truck. But they got it figured out. The dealership's eating that. That was like $700 that they were going to have to pay. So they're paying that because I was not about to pay for it. Until then, I will see y'all Wednesday when I get back to Virginia and I pick the truck up. Peace. Jose Cuervo. Ladies and nutsacks. It is Thursday, Thursday, I think. Yeah, Thursday. I got back to Virginia yesterday. If you're wondering why I'm in the uniforms, because I'm literally still on base and I'm at work, I might show y'all some jets if they're still flying around. My truck is finally done. Actually, a uh, funny thing about that, my truck was done Friday morning at 8.30 when I left. Um, I left at 8 a.m. and I got 30 minutes away from the dealership and he called me and he was like, hey, uh, your truck's done. So that's awesome. So I had to drive the rental car all weekend. All My Snapchat has been blown up and they're like, what happened to the truck? Where's the truck? And I've been answering some of them. So if y'all guys are not on my Snapchat, I'm starting to do this thing where like I can add the quotes to like my story and stuff. But uh, da, 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 da. yes, right now on the way to Enterprise to drop this hunk of junk off. I am not a car guy. I know I had the Camaro, but uh, that was a fast car. This is a four cylinder. I don't even know who would buy this. I mean, it's a pretty nice car. I'm not gonna lie, but uh, I miss, I miss when window tent i miss driving a truck i miss having a truck bed all of that but today i'm picking up the truck i think there's a truck show this weekend up there like near eli y'all remember eli he was the one that helped me put my uh wheel lights and rock lights on the truck um i have a big thing coming for the truck hopefully i'm still in the works still talking to the guys hopefully it goes through if it does it is going to change the Huh, it's gonna change the entire look of that truck and it is going to be so sexy. I am on the way to Enterprise. I will pick y'all up when I get to the dealership probably. It's gonna be pretty awkward if I just like throw a camera in their face, but uh, I might do it anyways. Maybe I'll show y'all some jets flying around. Speaking of jets, a lot of guys uh, on this, or a lot of people on my Snapchat are saying that they wanna see a day in the life video. If you wanna see a day in the life video, I'm not gonna be able to show y'all very much because most of what the things that I do is classified through the Air Force and the military. So I'm not gonna be able to show y'all a lot, but I will be able to show y'all some of it. So if y'all guys wanna see what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, leave it down in the comments and uh, I will try my best to get to it. I'll talk to my sergeant and see like what I can and can't film. But yeah, just leave it down in the comments. I will see what I can do. I'm hopefully gonna start making more videos because it's starting to get nice outside. Like it's 57 degrees and it is so nice. God, I'm rambling, Ryan. Oh, Ryan, say hey to everybody. Yeah, that was Ryan. He's my editor. He's been editing for me for what, a year now almost? But uh, yeah, also follow Ryan on Instagram. I'll 
and he'll put it right here on the screen and follow mine and my Snapchat as well. But yes, tired of talking. I will be at the dealership in just a second. Peace. There's a jet. I don't know if y'all guys can see it or not. It's uh, yeah, it's there you go. They're pretty loud. There's another one over there. Well, $244 later for a $4,000 transmission. Can't beat it, and there she is. Oh, baby. Woo, does it feel good to be back in this thing again? But like I said, $244, which was just like the deductible that I had to pay. Honestly, not too bad. Huh, window tint. You know how, you know what it's like to drive a vehicle with window tint, and then all of a sudden you're not in the vehicle with window tint, and then you get back in and you're like, dang, this is nice. Well, that's how I feel right now. I missed having window tint, especially when I went to North Carolina and I had to do a damn five and a half hour car ride in the middle of the sun with no window tint. I was a little spicy. Oh, hey, where y'all going? Get back over here. Oh, hang on. Ah, it was a good feeling to be back in this thing. I got good oil pressure. I got a half a tank of gas. Transmission feels good. Yes, it does. Feels good, nice and tight. Probably not gonna be doing a burnout because you know, it is a brand new transmission and I don't wanna like <laughs> break it again. But you know, it's got a three year long limited mile warranty so that's exciting, I guess. The hardest part, I know this is a lot of talking right now but I gotta get this out. Um, if y'all wanna listen, please be my guest. If not, I understand because y'all only watch like two minutes of my videos anyway, nut sacks. But I gotta figure out something to do. Virginia is boring. Where I live, there nothing nothing happens. The only time I have something exciting happen is when I go see Eli or when I go back home in North Carolina or I go to Busco with the boys. Like that is the only thing. In the comments, leave something. Tell me what you want to see that I can do in Virginia. Uh, it's already on Snapchat. I put it on Snapchat and Instagram. Y'all were saying a day in the life video, uh, truck updates. This is a truck update. No one, well, the Snapchat knows that I blew my transmission out of my truck. So it really pays to be on my uh, on my Snapchat because they pretty much know everything first and then Instagram knows second and then YouTube knows last. In the comments, tell me what y'all want to see. Don't make it too crazy because I still have to go to work Monday through Friday until November. November, I'm getting out of the Air Force. I want to do YouTube full time. I hope it works. I'm literally praying to the lord above that this will work out if it does i'll be doing youtube full time i don't know why this turned into like a what am i doing with my life video but i'm not gonna bore you anymore make sure to subscribe because we are like 24,000 away 24,000 away from 100,000 subscribers so if you are not already subscribed please do so it would mean the world to me if you see this video and you put it on instagram and tag me in it i will repost it on my story like, if you put it on your story and tag me in it, I will repost it on my story. But until then, I've done enough talking. I love y'all. I will see y'all later. Peace. She's bitchy. She really is, though. Attitude's a little bit shit. Wanna take it to the city. She talks shit on girls just for being pretty. Why you like that? The look that I got, I could tell she didn't like that. Now she wanted me to fight back. Wild as hell, thank God I didn't like that. She got a fat ass, though. Pretty in the face, but man, she's psycho. I still lay pipe, though. For a second, I was thinking this is gonna be my home. But I can't I'm gonna come up in, I'm gonna come up in, words, English, Garrett, damn.